and how's it going everybody hope you're having a great day today we're working on a x pro the chinese moped it's a 50 cc um so the the kickstart works just fine but they had to end up using the kickstart because it didn't start with the uh, starter or with the starting button took it apart earlier found out it was a rounded off gear on the starter so now we're just going to do a replacement starter if you're curious about it this is the video for you i'm sure it can happen to anybody that rides mopeds or something uh, that relates to it so follow with me as i take the steps needed to replace it okay first step we're gonna have to gain access to it right here is the starter there's a bolt on each side um, in order to get to those bolts well, we probably ought to take off this fender. Probably a couple bolts here. Go ahead and do that. All right, looks like the size for the needed bolts is eight millimeter. One, two. The fender right there. Go ahead and put that down and put the bolts with it. tie cable holder go ahead and take that out put that with the fender all right next we got a zip tie here holding all these uh, cables together we're gonna have to clip that so that when we unplug the starter we'll be able to have that free cable be careful not to snip any of the wires make sure you're only cutting the zip tie all right once you free all those up looks like this this is the plug right here goes up into the body so we're gonna have to gain access to that okay go ahead and open the seat exposing the trunk looks like we have three bolts here for these three bolts it's a 10 millimeter Put them in here so you know where they are. All right, we got two more uh, 10 millimeters in here, right at the front. All right, there it is. All right, next we're gonna have this hose clamp for the intake right on your carburetor. I don't know, on this one, it might vary with yours, but on the bottom is, is where the Phillips head is. So get, get myself a little screwdriver. So I have to reach up in here. Loosen that up a little bit. You know, it shouldn't have to go a lot. Get a little screwdriver in there, help I'll pull it up over it so I can remove it. There you go, just like that. See how it spread? It's rubber. Still taking easy with it, but be able to bend it and move it out of the way. All right, flip it up over here. There you go. Now it's up out of the way. Now you still got two bolts. You got one right here, and you got one right down there. Looks to be eight millimeter as well. Right up on top of the starter, you're gonna have this little boot. Just kinda wiggle it and move it up off there. Exposing the, the screw right there, your power cable. That looks to be an eight millimeter as well. We'll take this off, make sure this doesn't touch anything. When you when you take it off, go ahead and put that boot back on it and put it somewhere out of the way where it's not gonna touch any metal or disconnect the battery. Option is yours. It's removed, you got a little nut. I like to pull that dust boot right over it. Not all the way off. Right over it like that, okay? Go 
put that over here off to the side. That's right, what the nut's gonna look like. Go ahead and put it right back on top of where you got it from. You don't have to tighten it all the way, just put it back on there. All right. All right, right down here, you're gonna have a black wire, okay? This black wire gets sandwiched right there, basically goes on to one of the mounting bolts. That's your ground wire, so it's grounded to the, to the cast frame on there. It's gonna have a, a ring terminal on there. Just leave that on, but we're gonna remove that bolt and then that bolt and the starter should come out. Again, eight millimeter. I'm trying to drop it down. If you do, you'll just have to retrieve it. But there's one. That's what the cable I was talking about. Put that off to the side. Again, make sure your power wire doesn't, the metal doesn't touch anything. Remove the second one. All right. There you have it. All right, here we have the old starter. This is the new kit. We got it off Amazon. I think it was $30. Um, got you some new bolts to mount the starter. Looks like a wrench, a tool to do so if you didn't have your own tools, which is pretty cool. It's like a starter solenoid. Honestly, no need for that. It does work. It just, the, the teeth don't work. You can hear it running, but it does, does a grip. So we'll keep this. Here's the fresh new starter. Okay. I know it's got this wire on there. We can actually, we can still use the wire that we have. We just need to unscrew it from here. Okay. It looks a little different but still usable. It just screws in on that side, so we'll just do that method. So there's a new starter. Honestly, the gear looks to be fine. So there's also one other piece that come with it, and that's the Bendix. This, this part, of all parts, it, this is the one that's gonna take the beating when you're going to start it. This part is designed to spring out engage with your uh you know your your clutch spin it to start the motor and then it springs back in okay this is probably where the damage is if i were to assume it's around these gears they probably got eight, eaten up pretty bad that's where it'll go i'll take that part we got this it came with the kit we're going to go ahead and replace that anyway a new one with a new starter fresh gearing it only makes sense we already paid for it i'll show you how to get to that Right over here on your left side, that's where your belt drive is, your kickstart. You're gonna wanna remove the kickstart first. It's got a pinch bolt right here. That's also an eight millimeter. You don't have to take it all the way out, but it will relieve the pressure. And it's splined. Just go ahead and give it a bunch of wiggles and get it out of there. Like so, okay? Put that down there. Now you're gonna have a series of bolts going all the way around. Those are also eight millimeter, okay? We'll go ahead and take them out. I suggest that as you take them out, because there's different stuff utilized in the spot where that bolt goes on. So this one's gonna be a, uh, looks like a cable hold on that. There's one down here. So just kind of when you put them on the ground, as you take them off, keep them in, in sequence of, of where they were from. So as you take it out, leave them together, okay? We know that that's gonna be that top corner. Got one more under here. Bit of a longer one, put that next to it. Next to it. Next to it. Now as I start going around, I'm gonna put it as it was on there, like that.
This one also is a cable hold. Okay, we'll go ahead and leave those together. Put that down there. And looks like one more. Also another cable. So that'll just, uh, we'll just let that hang there. Keep that bolt in there though. That way it's with it. After that, you, the cover should remove. Kind of tug on it, but be gentle at the same time. This is a cast aluminum cover. Probably could be cleaned in there. All that material that you're gonna see, that's belt. That's from the belt. This is the centrifugal uh, clutch. And it pinches on right there. Anyhow, here's your Bendix. Should pop right on out of there. Gonna have to finagle it and fish it out. Those teeth look to be a little bit rounded off. Okay, remember the orientation that it came out. It came out this way, we put the new one in the same way. So we'll go ahead and get the new one in there. All right, before I put it in, I got some of this uh, multi-duty complex grease. I use this for, I don't wanna say everything, but anything like really gear related or that might need, need a little grease. I noticed the new part didn't come with one. Um, probably help it if I put some in there. So my focus points for the grease is uh, obviously the gears. And then right here, this pinion or that rod that goes into a little slot on the cover. Same with this. If those spin, then I'm gonna grease them. No need to have them dry. I'll go ahead and put some of that on there. Okay, might be overkill, might not be. Just put some on there. Uh, the gears, you know, shoving through each and every gear, just when it spins, it'll, it'll do it. Again, remember the orientation that you took it out at. go through the struggle like I kind of did um, drop it down in the back and then go under like this going through the side how it came out the first time not sure but going in this way worked out a whole lot better now once that's done you're good go ahead and just install this that little part right there that's going to if I'm flipping this down like this it's gonna go into this right here but we greased it all up, should be fine. Maybe a little bit more. I think I rubbed it off with my fingers. Just like that. Not a whole lot. Let me put some in right there. Okay, make sure it's lined up. force it or nothing kind of move it all around a little bit ever so slightly wiggle it and, so you can get it on there it binds up see if there's anything that is touching and hitting it shouldn't all right just like that okay now that we got our bolts here we'll just put them right back in the orientation that we took them out and this one was right here Keep in mind, this is cast aluminum, guys. You don't, you don't need to put a lot of force. Just a couple ugga duggas like that. That's all you really need. Just like so. I'm gonna go kinda easy once it goes in. You know you're good if you're using an impact. Don't need to force it. You should never need to force it. If you're forcing it, you're cross-threading it. You don't want to cross-thread it.
last one. Remember this one was holding the cable. Sorry, camera cut out. This one's holding the cable. Put it on there. Make sure the cables are in their little uh, holders. Okay. Just like so. And when it comes to your uh, kickstart, put that on there. As level as possible. It doesn't have to be straight across, but understand what, you know, you, you can put it however you want. It's spline, but let's go ahead and keep it straight. If anything, have it a little bit up in the back. That way when you're engaged, you got a little slop there. Once you're engaged, then it's, it's full push down when you need it. Again, this is a pinch bolt. There you go. That's all there is to it over here. Now that the Bendix is in, the new Bendix, we greased it up. Hopefully it'll last a little longer. Now we'll go ahead and put the starter in. All right, as far as that new starter, remember it had this, it didn't have that post with the nut on it. That's fine, we can still use this. We'll just take off this old cable, the Phillips screw. Okay. Don't drop or lose the screw, don't need the wire. Okay. This, this already has a ring terminal on it, so don't lose the screw, okay? We're gonna need that. Also, they sent new bolts. We're gonna go ahead and use those, why not? Nice new bolts, okay? Again, they should be eight millimeters still, nothing different there. Okay, now remember the post goes up, okay? Post up, mount it into the block right there. has a seal on it. I just noticed that it has a rubber seal around it. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of grease on that. All right, for the new starter, I went ahead and applied more of that grease on the on the gears and uh, around that seal. Okay, remember, it's got a different post terminal on there. That's okay, we'll utilize that. And then I'll use the new screws that they gave us. I put it on there. Get your first one started. Thread in a little bit with your fingers. All right, now remember this black wire, the ground, we're gonna need to put the bolt through that and then bolt it to the starter, okay? Kind of a tight fit, but it's manageable. All right, again, once you've got a few threads started, you can either keep tightening it with the wrench, ratchet, whatever you got. I'm gonna use an impact. Just make sure that the threads are started. Going in easy, because if you start using the impact, and then you uh, end up cross-threading it, and you're just using the power of the impact, you're gonna cause more, more damage than anything. All right. All right, go ahead and get that screw started. Right in there. Get right through your uh, terminal. Mount it kind of at an upward motion because you're gonna have to slide that boot over it again, to help protect it. Okay. Once that's tight, slide that boot over it. Like so. And there you go, you should be good. All right, next we're gonna have to slide that intake back on. Now's our opportunity to kind of change the orientation of where this is. We'll go ahead and face it down like that. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. Don't have to overkill it. You don't want no air leaks either. Carburetors don't like that. There we go, nice and tight. Now we're on there. Okay, I, uh, review your work, make sure everything's on there tight and bolted down. In this case it is. So next we're going to go on the other side and zip tie those cables back together. All right, 
as far as all these cables go let's kind of keep it somewhat how it was it should be already in the same shape that you had it to begin with if you don't have a zip tie you can use black tape bread ties I mean anything but you're gonna want to kind of keep those all together and out of the way snip off the access next be your fender once you got these all tied up and put that fender back on okay we got two different size bolts the longer bolt will go up here it goes through your uh, fan shroud and into the block the smaller one will go here so we're gonna have a series of things we're gonna have to put this on there and then remember remember about this that goes on right behind this okay and then put the longer one through it okay it's got a little overhang on this I want that that overhang to go towards the motor like that okay and fish this up there Put these wires around it like that don't go all the way yet because we still got to mount this one I'm gonna give it play okay get you started tighten Remember, you don't want to go overkill. And then make sure these cables are in here and bend these little tabs back over to help secure it. Now it's time to reinstall the seat. Put that in there. Okay. Remember your bolts, 12 millimeter. Get that started. This one started. Remember, you got two down here. Go through, hit all your 12 millimeters. All right, should be it. I'm gonna put the stuff back in there. Also put the old parts in there for the customer. They can do what they wish with it. Their property. There we go. All right, moment of truth. Bendix change on the Chinese moped turns out to work just fine works pretty smooth so I say it's a success any ideas any tips that I might have uh, would have been able to even use if you've done this before please leave it down in the comments below I love hearing about stuff like that it helps me only in the future helps anybody else that's watching so if you made it this far I really appreciate the view. Thank you. Um, hopefully you learned something. I learned something as well. I mean, even though it's just a little starter, a couple bowls, stuff like that, it's it's always good to just do something new every time, learn something from it. So with that all being said, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.